The goal of mitosis is to accurately segregate each chromosome. The chromosome directs this process from a locus called the centromere. In the moments prior to mitosis, centromeres, shown in red, on each pair of sister chromatids start to undergo rapid changes including transitioning from single microscopically resolvable loci to pairs. Zooming into a single centromere, we present our working model of the centromere upon mitotic entry that is based on cell-based imaging and near-atomic structures of the core centromeric nucleosome complex. Nucleosomes are the kernels of protein DNA complexes that package DNA, and special nucleosomes containing a histone variant, SEMP-A, are abundant at the centromere. Prior to mitosis, chromatin is in a relatively loose conformation and SEMP-A nucleosomes are directly bound by two copies each of the non-histone centromere proteins SEMP-C in purple and SEMP-N in green. They are each required for the recruitment of other constitutive centromere proteins, resulting in a symmetric arrangement with binding sites occupied on each face of the nucleosomes. Connections to neighboring nucleosomes are made through a second nucleosome binding domain on SEMP-C, as chromosomes condense to their mitotic form, related global and local centromere asymmetries are generated. A global asymmetry is formed where SEMP-A nucleosomes preferentially reside on the surface of the mitotic chromosome. Thus, one side of the centromere faces condensed chromatin while the other faces the cell cytoplasm. A local asymmetry is formed at the level of individual SEMP-A nucleosomes where one side lacks SEMP-N while the other contains it. The side lacking SEMP-N retains SEMP-C and the connections to neighboring chromatin that it generates, while the side containing both SEMP-C and SEMP-N is uniquely competent to retain the other constitutive centromere components. The constitutive centromere components include those critical for recruiting a mitotic structure called the kinetochore. A simplified arrangement is shown where the centromere components nucleate the recruitment from the cell cytoplasm of kinetochore components that subsequently attach to the microtubules of the mitotic spindle. We zoom out after each centromere in the cell has properly attached to spindle microtubules. Chromosomes are separated, moved along the spindle to opposite poles and, coincident with cell division, the chromosomes decondense to return to their normal state in the nucleus. A new cell cycle begins.